This is the BDR SDR dashboards that you should be tracking in Salesforce. Um, if you have multiple BDRs in your organization, I highly recommend checking this out. Um, this is not my own work, but an amalgamation of many others uh, and working with uh, dozens of companies. So I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can to give you kind of a quick high level understanding of the framework that I used. Hopefully it's helpful to you uh, and your team. Uh, feel free to uh, steal, iterate, uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, shoot me an email or DM me on LinkedIn. Uh, happy to help you and your team set this up as well. Um, but any case, uh, I hope that this framework helps you. So the six dashboards that I've created uh, are inputs, outputs, efficiency, error checker, inbound, and executive dashboard. Within each of these dashboards, uh, there's a certain number of reports. So if I click into them, uh, you can see the specific uh, reports that are included in each of these dashboards. Uh, I'll show those and walk through each of those in just a second here. Um, just wanted to give kind of a high level understanding first. Uh, and then the other piece is, is it on the individual level or is it individual team or segment level? Uh, and then lastly is uh, I highly recommend that you automate the sending of these uh, on a certain cadence. So for instance, this one, I recommend Tuesday at 4 p.m. local time to the BDRs and BDR managers. Um, so that's the other component that we'll uh, talk about at the end. So let's go through each of these. So input, this is activities. Uh, what are, uh, what is the work that I did today, right? So if I'm in a BDR, SDR, um, what is the work? So obviously the, the simple inputs here is uh, activities. So emails, calls, social, social touches, um, you know, videos, et cetera. Unique contacts touched and then unique accounts touched. We want to look at these uh, both on a week to date and month to date um, cohort. On to the next one, output. So I did a bunch of work. Uh, what do I have to show for that work? So let's take a look at this. We've got 16 um, reports here. So meetings created. Uh, this is S1s, for instance, um, stage one opportunities. Uh, every company is going to be a little bit different, by the way. It's totally fine. Um, and every company is going to report on things a little bit differently depending on how their Salesforce is set up. But these are the general things that you want to capture. So meetings created, meetings held, and then uh, qualified opportunities accepted into the pipeline, right? Uh, beyond that, further down the funnel, we want to look at revenue generated. So maybe you generated $5 million in pipeline this quarter, and then how many bookings were actually won. Uh, so I've generated 500,000 in revenue as an SDR this quarter. And again, we want to look at these in different cohorts uh, of time. So week to date, month to date, quarter to date. Uh, so this uh, is 16 different reports within this specific dashboard there. The third one is efficiency. So this is leading indicators or proxies. So where can I look to improve? So this is, uh, this is a useful one as you're trying to optimize in, in a growth stage. So how many contacts per account? How many touches per account? Uh, and then this is uh, one that I'm a big fan of. So the account conversion and the contact conversion. This is so that you're not spamming um, and blasting through your TAM. Um, so if you generate uh, 20 uh, opportunities uh, or meetings, uh, how many accounts did you reach out to to get those 20 meetings? Same thing with contacts. You want to make sure that you're working as efficiently as possible as a BDR unit within the uh, company. We want to look at these on a week to date and month to date frequency. Error checker. Uh, this is probably my favorite one, actually. Uh, this is the don't be on this list. What mistakes in Salesforce am I responsible for fixing? This is sent out every single day at 10 a.m. to all of the BDRs. Uh, so any uh, BDRs, or excuse me, any opportunities under BDRs names, depending on your process, if you're supposed to flip it into an account executive's uh, name, you should be doing that. Uh, obviously, any overdue demo date. So assuming you have the demo date field and time in Salesforce, you can just create a report um, to bubble any of those up. Um, named accounts uh, that are supposed to, so let's say you have uh, rules of engagement that say you should touch, as a BDR, you have named accounts and you should touch every account every 60 days. 
um, you want to have those automatically bubble up into your workflow, you know, and say, hey, there's nine accounts that you haven't touched in 60 days. You should reach out to those nine accounts today. For instance, you can set that at 90 days, 180 days. Some BDRs don't have named accounts, totally fine. S2s with no activity last 14 days. So did all this work as an SDR, passed it over. It was accepted as an opportunity. And now that AE hasn't touched it in 14 days. Maybe I want to nudge my AE and just say, hey, uh, what's going on in this opportunity? Is it still working? Uh, you know, are you still working it or do you need to close lost it? Uh, and then finally, inbound untouched today. Um, we have an entire inbound uh, dashboard, but in any case, you definitely want to make sure that if you have any inbounds, you're staying on top of those on a daily basis. Cool. So then we have the fifth dashboard, which is the inbound dashboard. And this one takes a little bit more configuring. Um, but the general framework that we want to use is uh, leads assigned average time to first touch, leads converted to opportunity, uh, and then similar uh, to the outputs um, dashboard, pipeline generated from inbound and bookings generated. Um, so again, pipeline is, uh, you know, how much pipeline is in, um, how much revenue is in the pipeline, and then how bookings generated is closed one deals. We want to look at these cohorts on a weekly and monthly basis. And then finally, we've got an executive dashboard. This one tends to be a little bit more uh, necessary to massage uh, and figure out what the executive team wants to see. But ultimately, we just want to showcase the BDR production to sales leadership. So what has the BDR team accomplished? And we want to show this on the team level. So what's the pipeline revenue and, and uh, you know booking generated? And then also on the individual level, who are the folks that are standing out within the team, um, you know, making sure that we're shining a light on them and learning what they're doing, uh, doubling down on those things. And then, of course, uh, if anyone is falling behind, how do we give them some more love, uh, enable those reps um, that aren't performing, um, you know, aren't hitting quota, et cetera. Um, so this is the general framework. Uh, again, um, six dashboards with, uh, you know, anywhere from six to 15 reports within each of the dashboards. We want to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, so that there's actually adoption. Uh, the last thing really briefly I'll go over is column C here. So this is showing on the individual level, team level or segment level, you can do these different slices, uh, and then the delivery of each of these dashboards. So this dashboard will get automatically sent via Salesforce into people's inboxes. And I should have said this at the beginning, but all of these can be created out of the box with Salesforce. Um, there's some really cool reporting tools, BI tools that you can layer on top of Salesforce. But any of these um, reports and uh, dashboards can be created in a way that is entirely native to Salesforce, um, particularly Salesforce Lightning. And you can even do global filters on the dashboard level that allow you to slice by different teams. So you can go into a certain dashboard, look at the inputs, and if you know if you have 30 SDRs, you can look at, hey, against these you know, five different teams with six reps on each of them, how are these teams performing? Hopefully this helps you. Uh, like I said at the beginning, um, you know, I just wanna inspire uh, anyone that's building dashboards for BDRs. Um, hopefully you can glean some insight and inspiration from this. Um, and if you have any interest uh, in having me build these out for you, I'm happy to do that as well. Uh, otherwise, happy to field any questions as you guys uh, build it out internally. Best of luck to you. Appreciate the time. Cheers.